I'm Joe. This is the Joe is Hungry channel, and I'm at the Taco Bell in Cartersville, Georgia. I'm not really very popular here. I don't think they like me. Don't know why, but I'm going to come in and check out their new $1 beefy potato Rito. I put myself in the cold place, dark maze, just smoking dust in my face. Can I get six beefy potato Ritos? I put myself in the cold place, dark maze, just smoking dust in my face. Can you catch my breath? I feel alive. We've got our beefy potato Ritos. Let's pull off to the side and do the Joe is Hungry temperature test. This one comes in at 144.5 degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty good for a dipping station. I'm gonna have to give Taco Bell here in Cartersville a pass on the Joe is Hungry temperature test. Maybe bygones can be bygones, and this can turn into my new favorite, Taco Bell. Now it's time to head back for more scrutiny and further evaluation at the studios of Joe is Hungry, located in my semi-adopted hometown of Fairmount, Georgia. And today, I've been to Taco Bell over there in uh, Cartersville, Georgia. Uh, traditionally, they really haven't liked me there. They try to run me off the property, but that's been over a year ago. And with turnover and whatnot, it's probably a whole completely different crew. And today, I'm checking out one of their new gimmicks that they put out again about a week or so ago. It's called the beefy potato burrito. It kind of looks like a little uh, burrito. It consists of Taco Bell's crispy potato bites, seasoned beef, nacho cheese, topped with creamy chipotle sauce in a warm flour tortilla. And of course, it's on the dollar menu. So that's all it cost is a dollar. This thing weighs in at 420 calories. And if you want to see the nutritional stats, I have them on the screen and in the description below. So now it's time for the Joe's Hungry weight test. Of course, Taco Bell doesn't post any serving weights on their website, so I can't ding them with that. But I bought six of these things so I can check for consistency between Potato Rito and Potato Rito. Potato Rito number one weighs in at 6.15 ounces. Potato Rito number two weighs in at 6.10 ounces. Potato Rito number three weighs in at 6.15 ounces. Potato Rito number four weighs in at 6.15 ounces. Potato Rito number five weighs in at 6.15 ounces. And Potato Rito number six weighs in at 5.70 ounces. Six of them, that is a very good sampling. I'm gonna give them a pass on the Joe is Hungry consistency weight test. So, this leaves the next event, the Joe is Hungry big reveal. This is what they look like, and this is what they're supposed to look like. This is what they look like, and this is what they're supposed to look like. We've seen what they look like. We saw how much they were. They're definitely looks like a good value. Anyway, it's time for the last and final and most definitive test that I can possibly do. The Joe's Hungry Bite Test. Bite Test. Engage.
a little underwhelming. Um, a burrito full of potatoes, a little bit of spice, and some hamburger. That's basically what this is. The uh, chipotle sauce has a little bit of burn to it. It's kind of burning my tongue, so it's a little bit hot. Don't like that. If I filled it full of sour cream, it would probably be pretty darn good. As far as a value, six bucks for this much carbs. I mean, you're getting burger in there. You're getting the cheese. You're getting the chipotle sauce. I could have uh, skipped the chipotle sauce because it's kind of burning my mouth a little bit. And you know that I am a uh, spice wimp. I think if you stopped at the Dollar General or Kroger and uh, picked up some sour cream and uh, put several dollops in each one of these things, um, that might even be considered edible. But by itself, I'm not going crazy about it. Um, I guess it's time to give this thing a score. Uh, Y'all know my score. My score is 1 to 10. 9 being the best anything above 9 is a once in a lifetime experience. I have it on the screen and in the description below. So let's go ahead and give this thing a number that'll stay with it forever. I'm gonna have to go with a 5.7. Filled with sour cream, it would be considerably higher. Um, that's not a great number, but it's not a great burrito. Uh, if any of you disagree, leave a comment. If you found this interesting, if you found this useful, subscribe to the channel, support the channel, and we will see you in the next video.